This is lesson 2-3, which is standard form. Our essential question is, what information does the standard form of a linear equation reveal about a line? So our first example says that Hannah will spend $150 on music festival tickets. Reserved seat tickets cost $25, and general admission tickets cost $10. How can you represent the situ situation with a linear equation? So standard form is going to be AX plus BY equals C. So what we need to determine is we need to determine what our X and our Y are going to represent. So in this case, we know that we have reserved seat and general seats. So I'm going to make X my reserved and Y my general seats. So we know that we're going to spend $25 times the amount of reserved seats plus $10 times the amount of general seats. And we know together that's going to cost $150. So this right here will be our equation written in standard form. Okay, the next thing is how do we graph when we're in standard form? So one way you could do it is you could solve for your y value and put it into slope intercept. But there's another easier way Okay, and it's called the cover-up method. So I'm going to rewrite this down here. So the cover-up method helps us find the intercepts. So let's use highlighter here. And I'm going to start by covering up the y's. So if I cover that up, then I look at what equation I am left with. And that is 3x equals 9. So then if I solve that, I divide both sides by 3, I get that my x-intercept is 3. So that means I go over here to the graph, and I go to my x-axis, and I put a dot at 3. So again, I'm going to make a note here, this is my intercept. So it's where I hit, where it hits the x-axis. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing for the same equation. So we have 3x minus 2y equals 9. And this time we're going to cover up the x value. Okay, so that means that now I have negative 2y equals 9. Notice I kept the minus sign in front of the 2y because that's going to tell us that it's negative. So I'm going to divide by negative 2 on both sides and I get y equals negative 4.5. And again, I'm gonna label this as an intercept. Oops, if I could spell. <laughs> intercept. Okay, so now I'm gonna to go to negative, so again, this is my y, so I'm gonna to go to negative one, two, three, four and a half, and put a dot. So then what I do with those two dots is I connect them with, to make my line. So that is how we graph using the cover-up method. So in some ways, this is a little bit easier than trying to solve everything and set it equal to y. Okay? Our last example is we're going to talk about horizontal and vertical lines. So you can see part A says, what does the graph of AX plus BY equals C look like when A is zero? And so we're gonna graph the equation of the line y equal, or 2Y equals six. So we would divide both sides by two. So we end up with the equation Y equals three. If it's just a Y, it's going to be a horizontal line. So it's going to look something like that. And we can see over here, this is the graph of y equals 3. So it's a, it's a horizontal line, and it crosses the y-axis at 3. <clears throat> Excuse me. And part b says, what does the graph of ax plus by equals c look like when b is 0? 
So we're going to look at the equation 3x equals negative 6. We can divide both sides by 3. So we get x equals negative 2. Anytime it's just an x, it's going to be a vertical line. So you can see over here, my graph hits the x-axis at negative 2 and is a vertical line. Okay, so that is how we graph horizontal and vertical.